Now this tutorial, let's do a demo of how CSS3 works. As you know, this tutorial is basically for HTML. But let's do a demo of how CSS3 works. How an internal an internal style sheet can work. What you have been doing by adding styles to documents is is called inline scenes. I have been doing scenes, but now we can do HT. We can do CSS. We, we can insert. Uh, we can do internal CSS, which is uh, which is most especially called CSS3. That's that's um, internal CSS and external CSS is basically called CSS3. Now let's 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 use CSS here. Yes, CSS3. Here. Let's just do a demo of it so that you can see how beautifully they work. Now start. You can. I'm using the. I'm introducing the style tag. You can see in this now you be another benefit of this tutorial is for you to see how the style tag works. Now I will use background. Sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me. Let me not use it here. Let me not use it here. Let's use it in. In the. In. Let's use it. Let's use it in the. In the head. Let's use it in the head. So, body. Now, you see that's another thing entirely. Body yellow. Or oh, let's use RGB. 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 Can you see now? See now, I can change the color of the body to red, um, to blue or dark blue. Similar, I will still use RGB. So, to blue, this blue, this blue, this blue. Let's start blue here now. There's nothing you cannot do with this. There's nothing you cannot do. You can even let's okay. I want I want to save this yet. So let's let's see how the code is. What what this is normally. I will not save it yet. But once I'm done with showing you what was in the browser before, then I'll show you how what the what happens after we are saving this unsaved yet. This is what is in the browser normally before. Now let's go and save our code and let's see. Control S and let's see how it works. I use Control S to save. Come to the Explorer. Load. Can you see now? This is a heading. Now it has changed. Now what you use this style for? Instead of you to be pressing, instead of you to be disturbing yourself, um, like frustrating yourself, just trying to put a style attribute in a body tag. You can see it really, really works here. What we want. Now in this also you can you can affect the HTML tag by calling the tag name here h1 which is this heading this heading is h1 I want to change it I want to change it with the I want to change it to text transform I want to change it to upper case and I want to change the match I want to change the background the background color to white I'm going to be using okay. I'm going to be using RGB colors so it's white and more so I'm going to change the font family it is so 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 easy to use font family to uh Algerian so that can be visible Georgia Georgia now this is Georgia I'll save it right now and I'm going to show you how it looks like now can you see now that everything has changed everything is changing now you can remove the margin you can remove the margin here the margin here so that everything can fit in the margin come back to the document and remove the margin move the margin this margin put zero we put zero nothing no margin with it so let's see this and let's go back to our document 
Can you see? The margin disappeared. It, it shifted up. Now, you can do a lot of things with this. This, 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 this CSS3. This is so so small. In what you can do with CSS3. There, there are a lot, there are a lot that you can do with it. So, and, and this is even uh, limited. This is even not the best. The best uh, styles that we can use. The best style that we can use. Uh, style is external CSS to style our document. Now let me quickly show you how external CSS works. Let me open another document. Let me open another document. Another another document. New file. New file. Now this is the file. This is the new file. I want to I want to do CSS. So I'm saving this. I'm I'm copying this code because that's how it will look like. I'm copying this code and I'm pasting it in. And I'm saving this up as CSS in my practicals in my practical folders. So I'm saving this in as stars. My practical folder. I want to create a new document, a new a new a new folder. Star inside that folder I'm saving it here. Style of CSS. Then save it up. Once you have saved it, I, I want to delete this because now it's not again. Once you get it saved, come here, come into the uh, the head tag and put link reality star sheet. Link reality star sheet. Then the UI styles slash style CSS. I've linked it with this document right now and you see that now I will not have saved I will not have saved and you see that the same thing still appears uh, still applies so let me save this first so that you can see what happens can you see that the same thing still I'm loading it the same thing still appears so that's to tell you that uh, that's that's how C external CSS works. So the best thing to do after you have linked HTML, HTML is to learn CSS3 so that you can know how to handle your uh, HTML elements and tags very very well. Thank you for watching. This is just a demo of CSS3. See you in our CSS3 tutorial. Thank you.